Whoa, I didn't think it would actually flip quite that much. That is mad. Can you imagine being on that? Okay, so you might be asking yourself, why is the Ocean X team so excited to watch a ship flip from this to this? Well, besides the obvious novelty of it all, that big piece of steel that Jacob was watching is an inspiration to all of us here at Ocean X. It's called RP Flip. It's the only research platform that can do this. Flip is from the 1960s, and at that time, its design was revolutionary. Its shape and unique interior made it a perfect tool to research our ocean, 95% of which is still unexplored. But in 2023, RP Flip retired, but not for long. Thanks to our friends at Deep, it's getting a new lease on life, a complete refurb from inside and out, and a chance to flip again. This is a very tricky mission that is going to be very hard to pull off, so we knew we had to check it out ourselves. Oh, and who is Deep, you might ask? Deep is an ocean engineering and technology company dedicated to creating incredible subsea habitats for researchers and scientists. Their goal? Make humans aquatic by providing extended access to the ocean. And now, they're focusing their energy on further enhancing ocean exploration capabilities through the modernization of RP Flip. So, to sum up, in the next two months, Deep will take us to Mexico to meet RP Flip. Oh, it's huge. It keeps on going. This is, it's very confusing. They will attempt to lift it into this huge transport ship. Whoa! That is insane! Get it through the Panama Canal, deliver it safely to France, and maybe flip it one more time before sending it to the shipyard for a complete makeover. <laughs> it's been five years since it's done this. While Jacob is on his long flight, let's get some historical context in here. The year was 1962. The place was San Diego, California. While the world looked up at the moon, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Scientists Spies and Fisher were looking at the bottom of the sea. FLIP stands for Floating Instrument Platform. FLIP was created to meet one specific Navy program, the Subrock program. That's Captain Bill Gaines, who worked on FLIP for 22 years. Would you describe FLIP as being almost like a child to you? <laughs> Maybe a delinquent child. <laughs> the Subrock program wanted to develop a rocket that could be fired from a submarine they desperately needed a stable platform to conduct necessary sound experiments. That's where FLIP came in. There was an attempt to use a submarine, but it had too much movement. So they came up with the idea of the stable platform. It's shaped very much like a baseball bat. Because the vertical structure actually gives it more stability than a horizontal one. This unusual peak gives scientists a real chance to finally work free from wave motions and sea sickness. Fast forward 60 years and FLIP has helped conduct research spanning from ocean acoustics to marine mammals. In 2023, it was decommissioned. That's how it ended up in Mexico, where Deep's mission starts. Apparently around this corner it's Flip, and I've been reading about it and watching videos for weeks, so very exciting moment. Oh, there it is. There it was, RP Flip. Seeing it left me feeling excited, but very quickly a bit anxious. Questions were swimming around my head. How was Deep going to pull this off? How can you lift and transport this massive platform across the Atlantic? And then how will it even flip at this age? How do you find working on this project then? Stressful or fun? Both of them <laughs> is a very fun stress. <laughs> We're on the flip. Welcome on board. Thank you. Wow. It's time for a tour of this bizarre looking ship. It is not a ship. FLIP is a barge, a research platform. FLIP has no propulsion. 
Right, thank you, Bill. So, Deep's mission just got a tad more complicated. No propulsion means Flip will need a tugboat everywhere it goes. Anyway, back to our tour. This is a real novelty. You've got your bedrooms. So that would be the ceiling. So if you're lying in bed and it's flipped, that's what you would see, like that. That is so bizarre. I love it. Engine rooms housing generators on yet more gimbals. Kitchen, also known as the galley. For the cook. That's Tom Golfinos, Flip's captain for almost 30 years. For sure, another top connoisseur of the platform. The most important thing he has to do, he has to take this ball out from this ball of the field. To prepare his galley to flip. All prepped for Flip's horizontal and vertical living. If you want, I can walk through the new design. I will definitely want that. Now, on to Catherine, who's working hard on the future of Flip. Here, where I'm standing, is going to be the crew galley. This will be here. Kitchen cabinets there, nice big windows, <laughs> so we can look at the ocean view, the wildlife. So existing, it was a sleeping accommodation for the scientists. As you can see, we have the gimbaling beds. And the new space is going to be fuel cells, so we'll have a central corridor and fuel cell space one, fuel cell space two. So in the new design, are you going to see things like two sinks? No, unfortunately, we're not keeping the two sink idea or the gimbaling toilet just because we want to save space and weight. This saving of weight allows for more science payload to come on. So more equipment, because we want to increase the ability of science on this research platform. So that's step one completed. We've met Flip, and it looks like the team has a solid plan for its refurb. Here is a short recap if your head is still upside down. Flip is 355 feet long, or 108 meters. That basically means that everything from here backwards is underwater when it's vertical. That is 300 feet of steel. RP Flip was built in 1962 and is one of a kind. One of a kind, because this was a bespoke build and... As you may have noticed by the random door halfway up the wall, absolutely unique in a wonderful way. Multiple doors, multiple sinks, and a toilet that can rotate, floors that are walls, and this is... it's very confusing. <laughs> And I think it might be, actually, scratch that, it definitely will be the biggest upcycling project you will ever see. So I should say, welcome aboard Flip, the 62-year-old research vessel that is well and truly one of a kind. That marks the end of our first day with Flip. Tomorrow, a new and uncertain chapter awaits Flip and Deep. The transport to France, the lifting of Flip onto a transport ship, Something that's never been done before. Oh, there, there they are. Straight off Ocean Explorer, back into wildlife filmmaking. <laughs> the lift day is here. And so is Flip's transport ship, the Happy Buccaneer. Well, Flip is on the move, round this peninsula and into the main port, alongside the Happy Buccaneer, and get ready to be lifted on top in preparations for its final move. The upcoming lift is Deep's biggest challenge. All 700 tonnes of Flip will need to get onto that in one fluid motion. Do you know how long the lifting operation might take? Yeah, the length of the lifting operation, it depends on uh, the ballast. So inside the flip is still water and it needs to be drained. So we will lift it a little bit, drain the water, and then lift a little bit more, water drains again. Once all the water is out, then we just need to uh, hoist and boom up our cranes. Also means we need to pump water from one side of the ship to another side so we stay upright. 
As you can imagine, it is incredibly complicated, but particularly in this case, because water is what makes flip flip. And as you can imagine, there are tons of it inside those tanks. But enough for today, that will have to wait until tomorrow. There's a lot riding on this lift, which is why it's taking a long time to make sure everything is perfect, and quite rightly so. Straps are on, divers have confirmed their placement, and the water is ready to be emptied. A slow process that got us holding onto our seats the whole day. But before this is done, Flip's transport position needs to be firmed up. All the measurements for Flip are pretty old and all hand-drawn. So they've had to spend a lot of time making sure that the measurements are absolutely perfect. And it's basically meant now that they're at stage to lay out everything ready for Flip to come on board the Happy Buccaneer. You've got all these wooden chocks perfectly placed. I think that's going to hold the actual hull of Flip. OK, time for the big moment after months of preparation. Can Flip be lifted and be one step closer to its refurb in France? Whoa! That is insane! Now we know what the divers were doing. They weren't just putting the straps under, they were also clearing off all the barnacles and mussels for a solid hold. Flip is officially on board, not without its challenges, as the platform was 30 tonnes heavier than expected. But there it is over 60 years old and one step closer to its refurb. Well, if it can do this, it can make it to France. And if it can make it to France, it can be restored. And also, if it can be restored, it can flip. Fingers crossed, first, will they get it to France? The big day has arrived. Flip is ready to be transported. The beautiful journey through the Pacific Ocean goes smoothly, continuing through the Panama Canal. Known for connecting the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, the Panama Canal has six pairs of locks. Between 13,000 and 14,000 ships use the canal every single year. And today, one more. Success. Deep has completed three out of five steps of their mission. Now, off to France. Flip was really a treat for me. I enjoyed every moment of it. I can remember Tom and I trying to hold Flip from banging against the pier at night while it's raining. Nothing means a lot to me. I was giving 200% of me. A lot of people, even my wife, calling me, she thinks I'm crazy to talk like that about the pieces still floating on the water. But the kind of experiments we used to do on the Flip, it's no way to do on any other vessel. If Flip was here right now and you could say something to Flip before it's off, what would you say? Ah, uh, I'd say goodbye, old friend. <laughs> After a month at sea, Flip approaches Toulon, though the wind doesn't make Deep's mission easy. All I know is Flip is somewhere <laughs> in this beautiful, rainy seascape. <laughs> But it finally arrives safe and sound. Step four completed. Now the unloading begins. And the fifth and final step approaches. Deep will be attempting a flip in the Mediterranean Sea, something that has never been done before, but not without some ominous clouds getting in the way. Bad weather clouds. South of France at this time of year, it's, it's quite volatile. You can see that our, our plans over the last few days have had to change, change already, but we're gonna do what we can to achieve what we need to achieve. Excited or nervous? Oh, excited. We want to learn about the platform. It's been out of use for a number of years. There's limited 
documentation available and obviously the platform has been adapted a lot through its life. We are operating in this testing phase in recognition that there has been a, a gap in, in operations for it. The day has arrived. Deep is not sure if the over 60 year old platform will flip, but there is only one way to find out. There is two faint things on the horizon. Flip is ready and at sea. I am extremely jealous that I'm not on the flip. The flip seems more stable than this boat as well. <laughs> it's been five years since it's done this. There's been a couple of technical hiccups, but the mast has been lowered, which means I think we're about 10 minutes away. So final checks will be in progress. Look at it go! Wow! Everyone loves a cliffhanger, right? We're not going to tell you if it flipped in this episode. There's going to be a part two. We are along for the ride on this RP flip journey. Deep is going to take it into refurb and then you're gonna to wanna to see what this next generation platform looks like when they're done with that. In the meantime, like, subscribe, all that jazz so you don't miss part two when it comes out. We're gonna put all of Deep's information in the description so you can follow along with them. They're doing tons of amazing things with RP flip and beyond. They want to make humans aquatic. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for episode two.